Yo, what's good guys? Coach the Tech here. So today we got some more fans to review. Now these right here are from Cooler Master. These are the Sick Leaf Flow. All right, Sick Leaf Flow. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Oh man, the comments are gonna be some. Uh, anyways, they come in um, 120, 120 mil fans as well as 140 mil, 140 millimeter fans. I believe they also come in black. So black and white. These are the black, uh, these are the white edition version, as it says over here. They also come in 140 mm as well as 120. Now you can cop a three pack for 50 bucks, and I got two. Basically, I dropped 100 bucks for six fans. Now straight off the box, I gotta say the presentation is fire. They ain't disappointing in here. We got. Or um, or a sync, so you have your Asus Aura, your Azrock, your MSI. I'm not sure if it's uh, it works with Gigabyte motherboards. If it has the VDG connector, that means it does. But anyways, you get a hub, three in one editions, and I said these are also PWM, uh, and everything is mostly everything. And I'll have everything in the description below. Anything I missed, or you know, especially for the specs, I'll have everything in the description below. But dimensions, like I said, 120 millimeter, addressable. We got uh, PWM speeds for ranging from 600 RPM to 1800. Uh, airflow, uh, you know, uh, C 62 CFM, oh my God. Anyways, uh, bearing rifle. I never actually use rifle bearings. Pretty Sounds pretty cool. But anyways, two year warranty. But like I said, everything is gonna be broken down as well in the description below. Now, let's see how these bad boys look yet. I am pretty excited, excited. First time, oh. Man, my bad, I forgot to peel this. All right, so, see how they look. All right, so we have our Cooler Master logo over here. I, oh, come on. Okay, I like this, a nice accessory box over here in the side. We do have a booklet over here. Uh, it says user manual, so everything is broken down, how to connect this, uh, this product and all that, so that's really nice. <clears throat> and we just have the fan sitting like this. <clears throat> Check this out. Oh, wow. Very nice. Okay, they're in their own little packaging. I like that. Yo, Cooler Masters, Cooler Master is competing with them Chinese companies, man. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, straight off the bat, I'll tell you guys, they, they have this uh, square look like to the up here fans. They look very similar to like the, the square look to it with the design to the up here fans. So, you know, it is what it is on that. But anyways, we have uh, I believe, I'm not sure, we just have it, I don't think we have an um, outer LED ring as well as the inner, just the fan itself is gonna have the LED uh, functionality over here, the fan is gonna light up. Uh, what else we got? We got a nice braided cable, we have our three pin ARGB as well as the mail, so you could just daisy chain them, this is how it looks. And then we have our four pin PWM header as well. Oh, I'm bugging. The accessory box, we're gonna open it right now, but anyways, this is how they look. I am kind of, okay. Check it. Then we have our Cooler Master, all that stuff. But yeah, like I said, very up here, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blade design. Yeah, interesting. I can't wait to actually see how they perform. Uh, anyways, what do we have in the accessory box? I'm bugging, how do you open this? Now in the accessory. All right, so there you go. Okay, so you have your fan splitters over here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in, let's say, what do we have here? One, two, so we're gonna plug in um, this fan over here, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in this four pin into your um, into your main CPU fan header or your CPU optional fan header. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your MOBA and you're gonna, um, you know, play with the, the fan curves and, you know, whatever you wanna do for the fan speeds. I am gonna go over the uh, different fan speeds and whatnot, but yeah, you're gonna plug it into there and then you're gonna plug all those fans and that's basically it. Or because these other fans have additional three, um, Three, um, three fan splitters as well. Or if you have a fan splitter, you know, laying down, laying around in the house, you know, five way or six way, whatever fan splitter you could use them. But I'm just gonna daisy chain them and then that's how I'm gonna connect those fan splitters. Uh, anyways, we have the SATA power over here, which is gonna go into this hub. I'm not sure. Let's see, put these brackets in. Okay, not sure what these brackets are. Let me know what you guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of these brackets in the comments or what they exactly are. We have screws and then we have our three, um, 
your three-way pins over here if you want to essentially daisy chain them as well. I believe that's what these bad boys are for. And then we have our hub. Damn, it's a lot of things. I think this is a bracket or something for it. But anyways, this is the hub. Let's see. Okay, so we have this little two pin over here. This is for a reset. So you're gonna, if you, you know, if you wanna basically just change the colors, you're gonna plug in your reset switch into here. And then every time you press the restart button, you're gonna change the colors. Now this wire is the main connector over here. This, uh, what is it? Like a six pin wire. So you're gonna do, you're gonna plug in. Oh my God. All right, so let's do a proper installation guy. Now, so like I said, this is your uh, six pin over here. You're gonna plug in this six pin into here this is for power and the data for this hub and now this button i believe cycles through colors i'm not sure i got to see what it says but anyways now we have sata for power so you're gonna have to plug in this into your sata connector um, from your power supply you're gonna plug this in so this is gonna give this power next this is the argb functionality so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in where are the argbs so you're gonna plug in you're gonna plug in this ARGB, you can plug it into any of them, and then you're gonna you're gonna daisy chain them. So we're gonna plug this into here. All right, it's plugged in. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this fan, right? Just whatever, whichever other fan, and then we're gonna daisy chain them. So then we're gonna plug in this, right, into this. Into the ARGB that's here. And that's, you know, that's how you're gonna basically do the process then you're gonna plug this into here and then you're gonna cycle through them. You know, if you have more fans, like I said, I do have more over here and then you're gonna, you know, go and go on and go on until how many fans, you know, essentially have. And then you have, you know, more fans over here and then you're gonna do the same exact process. You're gonna take this out, right? And then you're gonna plug it into, and then you're gonna plug it into here. And that's, and that's basically it. There you go. That's how all your three fans are installed. Now I'm gonna take, since I'm gonna use these, I'm gonna take these out and then I'm gonna, you know, daisy chain them here. So I'm gonna have all six fans running through this one hub. Um, but anyways, let me, uh, let me run through it. Also just, the booklet is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Just tells you here how everything is broken down, the fans, uh, but yeah. And then these bracket little thingies, which, which are E over there. I'm not too sure, I gotta figure out what those little bracket thingies are. But yeah, very simple. Let's uh, plug them in and let's see how they perform, yeah. Let's go. All right, so one thing I gotta point out to you guys that, you know, these fan blades themselves are very dope. They actually do push a lot of air. Um, but I mean, the whole rifle design, I, I really didn't notice such a difference in noise uh, in noise testing. I'll, I'll, sh I'll let you guys hear right now, it's running at a thousand RPM. But I gotta say, the fans themselves, they actually do push a lot of air. They go all the way up to 1800 RPM. So, you know, if you are gonna ask me, oh coach, can I put them on a rad, bruh, you most definitely can. But anyways, right now they're running at 1,000 RPM. I'm gonna let you guys hear it. Very quiet, and of course, as you guys saw, they're running at um, 41 decibels. That now this is the entire unit is running at 41 decibels, so not too bad at 1,000 RPM. Now look, to be honest, not a lot of you cats are going to be running your system at 1800 RPM or, you know, your, your fans. And most of you cats are usually going to run them at 13, maybe 1500 RPM, maybe 1000 RPM, you know, so it depends. But, you know, in the testing, we are going to increase the RPM as well. Now they ramp up, they are gonna slow down. So this is this is more realistic for me. This is at around 1300 plus or minus. Not a big deal in the noise decibels. These also are, they sound, I mean, very similar, like to the Chinese fans which I review. The blades, I mean, they are, you know, very similar to that in, in my uh, personal opinion. Uh, let's turn them, let's actually, this time, I really want to turn them up now. And this is basically on full max.
So yeah, when you obviously, you know, putting at max RPM, you guys are not just going to have it always on max. It's going to fluctuate and whatnot. But on max RPM, I got to, there's no fan rattle. You know, the, the quality of the fans themselves, like I said, are pretty dope. They're like, if I put them in a category, I would honestly put them in like the PC Halos or the PC uh, Coronas, the PC Cooler Halos, the PC Cooler Coronas, the Montex. Um, I'm probably missing out. the Antex. Good fan blade design, push a lot of a lot of air. Um, but you know, not, nothing you know, nothing like special in my opinion. But anyways, let's run through some LEDs now. Let's go. All right. So as as you guys know that I did mention in the in the beginning of the video, I put put it through the you know this. These fans don't come with a remote, so you'd have to use the reset switch, right? So for you to switch through colors, or you could use it with the ARGB functionality if you essentially have an ARGB compatible motherboard. Now, I'm pretty sure Gigabyte motherboards are not compatible with these fans since you didn't get that VDG header. So if you do have a you know Gigabyte motherboard, rip for you, brethren. It's not gonna be compatible. But anyways, one thing you gotta say with these fans, there's no brightness adjustment. Right, so straight off the bat, if you're not using the ARGB functionality, so let's say if you have a four pin connector or if you have a Gigabyte MOBO, if you don't wanna use the, the ARGB functionality through the motherboard, through ASUS, um, through ASRock software, through other softwares, uh, Polychrome, I believe as well. Um, if that's, yeah, I think, uh, I always forget about these software. But anyways, you cannot adjust the brightness. This is the only brightness. There's no increased brightness or decreased brightness. There's no brightness adjust whatsoever, you know, with these fans. You know, listen, it is what it is. I wish they would have included. Next, there's no LED, there's no inner LED rings or outer. Like, you know how on Asia Horse and the FS9002s, we have a nice outer, or in the PC Halos, I believe we have a nice uh, outer, as well as I believe inner as well. None of that here. All we have for LEDs is just the fans. Cooler Master. I mean, come on. You know, you guys got to step over your game on that uh next and again this is not including so my negative my negative basically perceptions of these fans are coming from not using right the argb functionality because with the argb functionality all depending on oh i almost dropped my phone all depending on the motherboard uh the software the the argb software that they have with that motherboard so to make it fair it's best to just throw it like that and just basically for me to review it basically how i always review it just how they give it give us with you know with the basically with the little small hub with how these but no led speed adjustment so again it is what it is you, you know how you see is what you get now this is very important you only get five modes including this rgb mode so this is one this is two breathing effect is just going to cycle through different colors we have pink Now it just cycles. I, I cannot, why, you, you cannot put these colors uh, just on solid. You'll see, I'm, we're gonna run through the solid colors right now, but that's basically it, it's gonna run. And then we have a solid red, so that's three. A solid blue, that's four. A solid green, that's five. And then off, six. And that's it. What was that one, two, three, four, five, six. So six colors. Five colors and one would basically turn it off. And that's basically it. I mean, cooler mass again. You guys got to give us more because the Antex, uh, the Antec prisms, the PC cooler halos, PC cooler Corona. Well, the Coronas are not so much in the in the RGB spectrum. They're more in the, you know, they have just the outer rings, but the, the fan itself, the halos, much more options. Like you know, you guys got to step it up in that. It is what it is in that. The RGB is no bueno in that. Um, next, not a lot of solid colors. You only saw, we only get like three solid colors. Where's the rest of the solid colors? So basically, if you are gonna get these fans, keep in mind, these fans would most likely work best if you are using the, R the ARGB software, right? Which from the motherboard manufacturer. So if you're using any of those softwares, the RGB aspect for these fans are gonna work best with that software via the MOBO. Because like this, if you're happy with this, then listen, it is what it is. You guys could rock it like that. But the RGB itself standalone is very, very limited. Absolutely limited. Now for the positives. As I did mention for the for the um, for the noise test and the RPM test of these fans, the fans push hella amount of air. And like I said, I again again I'm gonna mention them with the with the coronas and with the uh, with the halos. The PC cooler coronas and halos, 
absolutely killed it, as well as the Antex. Those things were absolutely beasts for pushing amount of air. I gotta put these fans as well as up to, uh, on top of in that category as well. And they also go up to, like I said, 1800 RPM, and I believe they go up to what, from 600 or from 650 to 1800 RPM. So you have that, you have that, um, you know, flexibility. You have that headroom to play with, with your fan curves, you know, which is dope. Uh, noise level, they are decently quiet, but they're not like, you know, like the, the rifle um, bearing type is pretty cool. Uh, you're not, from the research that I did, it's not gonna like oil leak. We have that, all that Asia horse stuff, oil leak, oil leak. So with this, you're not gonna get that. Runs pretty well. Uh, there's not too much noise, you know. It, it's good, it's good for the, the fan technology itself, how it goes in, it's, it's pretty dope, I gotta say. And of course, like I did mention as well, you definitely can mount these to a rad. So I know you guys are gonna ask me, you can mount them. Definitely mount them to a rad. Like I said, they push a heck of a lot of air. Now, aesthetically for me, I'm not a fan. Like I said, no outer uh, inner LED rings. Also, like I said in the beginning, they look like up here fans. They have that square look like up here fans. I feel like they just took a up here frame and they just probably put, put, you know, their own blades and that's basically it. And they called the name of these fans and kept it basically moving. But overall, would I recommend these fans? Price wise, they're not bad. Try to cop them for 50 bucks or if you catch them on sale, go with that. If not, if you're saying kosher, I want something else, go with the PC Halos. Those things are straight beast. I ranked them number one in my uh, in my top seven RGB fans. Those honestly are dope, but there's one caveat. They only come in black, which is whack. I wish they also came in white. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. What you guys think about these fans? Was I too hard of them? Was I fair? What are your recommendations? Let me know. As always, guys, I'm Coach Tech. I'm going to catch cats next time. Deuces!